What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add a sticky bar to your Unbounds landing page or pages. For those of you a bit unfamiliar with the sticky bar, let me show you what it looks like. So over here, pay attention to the top, to the top part that says Black Friday has started. Okay, so pay attention to that and see what happens as I scroll down the page. That bar stuck with me as I scroll down the page. Sticky bar. It can be at the top, it can be at the bottom, it could have a way to X out of it and close it or not. And it's a very intrusive less way to promote some sort of marketing message or whatever it is you want to promote to the customer. So in this case, you only have one day left for your Black Friday sale, right? That's what this message is. And it constantly reminds me. Now in Unbounce, I'll have the opportunity to close that uh, sticky bar, which is cool, I, I think. I, I, I think that's necessary because customers might get annoyed with seeing the same message, but just something that you can do, okay? So let's see how we can actually set that up. So here's our landing page that we'll be practicing on. Here's the edit interface, and here's your main um, Unbounce dashboard. As you recall from our previous video, we have to click on pop-ups and sticky bars for when we created our pop-ups. And we're gonna click on create new. If you don't have any pop-ups or sticky bars, you'll see a big button in the middle that says create new, click on that. We're gonna click on sticky bars here, and we can choose from a variety of templates just like with pop-ups or landing pages, okay? If you don't like any templates, you can also click on start from scratch. So I'm gonna go with this template. I think you know we're promoting a book, so to speak, in our pop-up, so might as well do the same for our um, sticky bar. So let's just say, let's name this, oops, sticky bar for book campaign. Okay, whatever it is you wanna name. Then I'm gonna click next. And so we need to do two things, same as with the pop-up. We have to edit the sticky bar and we have to add the code for the sticky bar on our site. So here is our sticky bar. Not gonna spend too much time editing it, but just some features you should be aware of. You can put it at the bottom. So as people scroll down or up, the sticky bar is at the bottom, or you can put it to the top. Obviously you can change a few things uh, here, you know, so let's just change it just for the sake of it. So get your free book while on, you know, 50% promotion. Now, you know, something like that, you know, whatever it is you want. Um, you can maybe even move it a little bit if I wanted to. Um, I do have a more comprehensive video on how to create a landing page from scratch, which uses the same tools as I have here. So definitely check out my first Unbounce uh, landing page videos to see how to use these tools, okay? Very simple. Uh, definitely put a URL in this, uh, on the button, right? Don't forget that, it's your call to action. But that's pretty much it. Uh, you can go on mobile and make sure it's mobile optimized as well. In this case, it looks like it already is, um, but just double check, always good. Once you're happy with your sticky bar, click on save. I'm not going to click on preview because we're gonna look at it live, but I will go back to overview. And so we've done the first part, now we have to add the code, okay? So let's go from top to bottom as we did with a pop-up. So what URL do you want this sticky bar to be on? Well, this one, okay? So I'm just going to copy this URL, paste it here, minus the HTTPS. So if you have a big website where you have multiple paths, like uh, my, my services, you know, contact me about us, you might want to say URL that contain, and if you want to pop up on a specific page, you would indicate that path page here, like my services path, right? In this case, we're putting it on an unbounced landing page. It's only one page. This is the URL of that landing page. So I'm just gonna say all URLs, okay? Very simple. When do you want this sticky bar, uh, sticky bar to show up? Same thing as the pop-up. After a certain time, when the user tries to exit, when a user arrives on the page, I'm gonna show the sticky bar as soon as the user arrives to the page, okay? Uh, all these options, though, other options are pretty straightforward. And then again, how often do you want to show the sticky bar? one time per visitor, one time per page refresh, like every time someone goes to that page, it shows up. I would like it to show up as part of my website. So every time someone sees the site, I want it to be there, regardless of if it's the same user or not. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And now we're gonna copy the code. I'm gonna take the code, go to our page, 
go to JavaScript, click on Add New JavaScript, because we want to separate out our different codes in case something goes wrong and we want to see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and paste that code here, and then name this, let's name this Sticky Bar. Okay, So we can always reference it later on. So if I click Done, go to JavaScript, and I can see what's going on. Okay, Now we have this JavaScript too, which um, was the smooth scrolling option for um, if you click on a button, it will scroll down smoothly. So check that out if you're interested in something like that. But we're pretty much done here. Okay, So I'm going to click Save here. We've added the code successfully, and I'm going to republish. That's important to do. Now we have to go back here and publish this as well and confirm that we've added the code to the page. So I'm going to click Publish. Yes, Publish now. So give it a few seconds. Let's let it load, and then let's test it out. One piece of in information you should know, if you're using both a sticky bar and a pop-up, the pop-up might come half a second to a second later than from you specified, from the time you specified. So I have an exit pop-up. It's not going to show up as soon as someone tries to exit. It's going to show up half a second to a second later. Okay, So just keep that in mind. Um, the two codes seem to conflict a little bit with each other. Okay, But it looks like everything is published. So let's go here and let's try to refresh and see what's going on. So here we have our sticky bar. So as we scroll down, the sticky bar stays, and it has a little X there. right? Awesome. Is our pop-up still there? It is, OK? And as I said, it takes about half a second to a second longer for it to load if you have both. If you recall, when we just had the pop-up, it popped up instantly as soon as someone hovered in the just in this area. But since we have both, it does take a little bit longer, just so you know. But that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to make this bar you know, narrower, wider, broader, bigger, you know, whatever, you can just come in there and edit it. Very simple to do. I showed you how. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably like my other Unbounce videos on how to create a landing page, how to add a custom domain, how to integrate it with GetResponse for email autoresponder integration. Check those out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.